I invite Professor John Sema to address us and I request all the students to pay attention, give your mind, heart and soul, open your minds to listen to our professor as he enlightens us with his knowledge. Sir, you may take the stage. Good afternoon to everyone, respected uh, principal, the faculty members of uh, Teso and Unity College, and also my dear students, friends from the two colleges. Uh, at the outset, uh, I'm very happy to be here to be with you people. And uh, you know, I actually don't know how, uh, in what way I should address uh, you people. Not exactly that I don't have, but uh, anyway, the, college, the two colleges have asked me that I should also speak to the students. So I say I'm uh, happy, I will always like to just talk with our students. Uh, I want our students, before I started my lecture, I want all of you to kindly keep in mind that always try to sit in the front. Only, always try to sit in the front. That when you are in the habit of uh, sitting in the floor, you will have the guts to face the people. Okay. But when you are the backbenchers, you will not able to have the guts to face the people. You know, I have uh, this one of my friends who is my senior, very brilliant, talker. Talker. But he qualifies in the, in the uh, reading test many times, but when it comes to the interview, he's not able to qualify. And the, but the reason is that he doesn't have the class to face the people. Okay, so I want you people to face the people. When you have, whether you are able to speak properly or not, doesn't matter. But your confidence will enable you to speak properly. Also. But if you don't have the confidence, even what you know it, you will forget. Okay? You will forget. That is why I want all of you to kindly keep in mind that always try to sit in the phone, always try to face the people, then only you will have it come. Now, reading the textbook. Okay, will not suffice. But we, education is nothing but all down development of body, mind, and soul. Body, mind, and soul means you are growing with age. Okay, so your mind also should be developed. And then mind means your intellectually you should also develop, manage it. Okay? That will make you a perfect person. But if you are not in the habit of doing that, acquiring knowledge, acquiring academic degree will not suffice for to make you a person. So that I want all of you to kindly keep in mind that. Coming back to that, uh, since I've come here particularly for this uh, uh, orientation with the teachers, and I also like to see that with the students. Here, I want all of you to kindly keep in mind that uh, the master student, many of our students feel that in MA level, to get past mark is not difficult. It's very easy. That is the concept that uh, the students have. But that passing of any will not make you to commensurate the degree and the knowledge that will not have the balance, okay? And that will not commensurate with the knowledge you have in your end. Now, you are coming with any means of having a master. Okay, master in a particular subject. So, I want uh, all of our students here, I have come across, what is the problem with our students here? 
uh, many a times. Uh, I have been aggregating the papers, not only from Nagaland University, but uh, Saudi College, Unity College, Tejo College. Okay. And whether, I was uh, just thinking, whether the teachers are not doing the best or whether the students, they are not doing their job. Okay, this is my analysis. But I want to tell our students here is that in MLA, MLA, teachers will do only 10%. Okay, teachers will do only 10%. And 90% of the students, 90% of the work will be done by the student themselves. Okay, in MLA. No teacher will able to feed you the way you want to have it. When I was doing my PhD, when my professor told me that John, in PhD level, PhD level, 99 perspiration. 99% perspiration and only one person, only one person that will be giving inspiration that will be from God. 99 perspirations, how you have to walk out, how you have to labor yourself. And then only one person, inspiration that will come from God. And what is that from God? You are Christian, I'm a Hindu. Okay? I'm a, I'm a Christian, you are, uh, he say I'm a Hindu, you are Christian. Okay? But he see that God help God help to those who help themselves. Okay. Now, in MLF, the teachers are there to guide you, okay, to help you, to open your eyes, your mind, and make you how you should have started. But the rest you will have to do by yourself. Okay, so that I want that in the first place, I want all of you to kindly keep in mind that don't depend on your core teacher for everything. You will have to study hard. What are the content of the courses? What are the syllabus? What are the area? In what way you have to study? Those are the things you will have to learn. Now, I have a feeling that our students will be feeling very bad when you get your result. When you get your result. You will feel bad, but you will have to see that what the pushing is asked for. I, I always ask uh, then my students in the university itself that if you write everything out of the questions, and if I give you marks, all of you can become an IS, IPS, IPS. You have everybody of you can become anybody else. But the purpose is not like the in if there's there should be filtration. Okay, filtration. You know what is filtration? The one who is able to do the things according to what is required. Please keep in mind that all of you are like a commodity in the shops. Okay? You are like a commodity. You are like a goods in the Toto College, in the Unity College, in Nagali University, and so the other college. And there will be the customers who will come and buy. And the customer will test your quality of your, your products. 
in two NPSC, two public service commission, and two NHN. They will test you and they will pick you up. That is your knowledge. The knowledge that you possess will be the one that people are going to test. Please keep in mind that unlike what you have been doing in colleges, it is a different kind of a picture in the university system. In the university, you will have to cop up yourself, cop up yourself to know what is what. Okay, to know what is what. The most important is that the subject matter, the concepts, what you are going to study, and what you are studying, and what you want to study. The concept that is very, very important, the subject matter that you are studying. Now, unlike in the colleges, thousands of students are there. The teachers will uh, have so many number of uh, students. So they will evaluate in the papers. Some teachers may be skipping off uh, some certain particular things. And so sometimes you are lucky, you may get a good marks, okay? But in the university system, each and every of the students' performance, performance are going scrutinizing, detailed and a systematic manner. So here, I found that uh, the students, you are writing the answer, kya kushi kushi. Anything comes to your mind without thinking properly, you started writing all this kind of things. That will not serve your purpose. For any competitive agenda, that is not going to serve your purpose. So I want all of you to kindly keep in mind that go before when the teachers are going to teach. Sometimes you have your time, sometimes you may not get time. If you have time, if a particular teacher is going to teach a particular topic, before teachers teach you a particular topic, if you are in a position, go to the text of the particular talk and then listen to the lecture and then go back to the library and study. Then you will fully acquaint yourself. You will fully acquaint yourself that what the teacher has been taught to you in the class, you will have to grasp it. You know what is grasping? Grasping means the most important part you will able to digest. Grasping. Okay. So you will have to see that there are, okay, I'll just give you one example. There are two group of students. Okay. Two group of students. One group of students they will uh, go for sipping of the cups. When they have, when they talk, they go on sipping of the cups with the tea. But one group of our students, they will only gargle, but they will not able to swallow the tea. Okay. So what I'm trying to say that when you are attending a class, you should not gargle, but you should be able to sit and then swallow it. Okay? That means you are able to grasp it, what the teacher has been taught to you in the class. Now, whether you are studying in annual level or any competitive agenda, unless you first digest yourself with the whole topic, with the whole topic, if any question comes in bad way, 
you will lose yourself as if you are lost in the air. Okay? You will be blown away by the air. But if you study the whole things, then by the time a jump comes, you will go with the oil when you don't have time, you will just get the most important points. Then when a jump comes, you will be able to ride. Despite you are heavy short of time, not able to cover up all the topics. So that is also one way of dealing and studying how you have to do that. Another important aspect that I have uh, come across with my experience with you all of you, that uh, some of you, while attending the, attending the answer, you are, with, instead of writing according to the question, you are writing the more unnecessary form, patches together, patches together. And then when the most important point you are going to write, you have left no time to write on those points. Now, how are you going to get an expected marks? This is one point I want all of you to keep in mind that try to focus to the point so that you will able to attempt the portions. Okay, so I want all of you that uh, you see that and also try to write to the relevant points. Many of the students, many of the students are writing out of the context. The question which has been asked for, you are writing out of the context. So again, that will not serve the purpose. Now, a particular paper, particular courses, particular context will be, uh, be there. So you will have to see that, how that is going to, the particular question you have to deal with that. Now, your teacher must have already talked with you. So you will have to see that, how you should do that. Another point, I've been telling uh, that uh, your teachers also, that uh, you expect, you expect uh, solid marks in your internal, but when it comes to your external, your, your performance and your internal assessment is not matching. So I want all of you to keep in mind that uh, in internal, if you perform very well, really well, external also you can perform very really well. So please see that you try to improve in your internal test. That is very, very important, all of you to keep in mind. Now, what I would like to request all of our students is that there is no substitute to hard work. There is no substitute to hard work. If you will work hard, there is no way that nobody can stop you. You will shine. A brilliant student also, if he doesn't work hard in any level, even if you are uh, brilliant, the amount of the time you should invest it for your study, you need lots of time and energy, you have to do that. In any level, I do not know how you people are doing that, but uh, the students, you have only two years, and that two years is most important. After your annual, you are not going to have any formal classes anymore. You are not going to have any more formal classes. This MA is the only formal education system where you will have to be assessed by your teachers attending the classes following all the routine of the college and the university, whatever. So whatever you have occurred in your AME, that is going to be your lifelong asset. Lifelong asset means throughout your career, 
if you have really acquired a knowledge, that is going to be your asset, that is your property. Nobody is going to snatch away from you. So I want all of you to kindly keep in mind that, that you will have to work hard. Nothing, there is no, no, no substitute to hard work. You see the teachers, you may be thinking that uh, uh, teachers may not, but teachers who study more than the own students, okay? If a particular teacher is going to teach, he has to invest four or five hours on a particular topic before going to the class. And if the topic is very tough, teacher has to spend two, three days to prepare the lesson, okay? Particularly in MA. And so then if the response, if the response is a poor from the students, then the teachers also got disappointed. When the students perform well, teachers get happy. And I'm happy for me, I'm happy only when my students perform well. When my students do very badly, I get disappointed. Okay, so that is how it, it goes like. So I want all of you to kindly keep in mind that uh, your hard work is a very important. Now here, come into the higher level of your studies. You have to work hard independently of your own. You have to work independently of your own means. Once the teachers taught you a particular form, particular topics, then you, the rest you should study by yourself. You should study by yourself. And if you are depending on your teacher for ever small things, you will never able to come out. So this is a very, very important for all our students here. I wish that you are working hard. And I must uh, 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 say that all of you are doing your best. But, but you need to do a lot more. You need to do a lot more, and you should work hard. Your purpose of coming here is not just simply that you are just going to get your degree, but the knowledge. And so you will need exposure. So I do not know how many of you uh, discuss the subject matter among yourself in the hostel, at home, on any topic, on any issues? Whether do you participate in any debate, in any discussion? In, you should interact because through interactions only, you will able to learn. That will sharpen your ideas, your concept. Now, you may be thinking that your other friends may not know anything, but when you discuss with him, you'll find that he's, uh, he has got more knowledge than you. Okay, then you will learn that, look, I thought I know better than him, but, you found that he's better than me. That, that will push you that I should walk out. That will push you that you should walk out. Motivations. Now, I hope all of you are staying in a hostel or you are staying in a private room. How many of you stay in the hostel? Please uh, raise your hand. Very. Very How many of you stay with your uh, classmates, friends, at home? How many? Do you discuss your subject matter on any issues? I have uh, some years back, 
when I was the hostel warden, I have uh, started uh, the uh, post dinner talk in the hostel. Post dinner talk once in a week. Yeah, once in a week, because all the students are brought down with the uh, actual test this summer. So then uh, we have uh, started. Then again, I found that uh, the students are too busy. So again, I say, okay, fine. Once in a month, once in a month. Okay, the post dinner talks. So then the students say that, okay, sir, uh, twice in a month we can have it. Twice in a month we can have it. So I say that I, I give them the topic and the current issues that is confirmed into our society. The current issue that is uh, facing by our people. I give the topic. Sometimes if the topic is related to political science, I give the, uh, give the uh, leadership to the political science students, let them initiate, and let the other students go in the debate. And for that, I even give a lecture in the class, and then I let the students with this point, you can go home, go to the hostel, and discuss, okay? And so that the students, they have learned, but after some years again, that they dissipated and then uh, they're, they're no more uh, following them. But I found that it has given lots of information learned. When I was in the hostel in New York, uh, we used to have at least once in a month, we used to have once in a month in the hostel common room. Then we used to discuss. I learned a lot of things from my friends, economics, history, sociology, and also from the students of science. Science also, I just asked them, what is the, what is the, how sound waves works? What is the sound waves? And uh, we used to ask our physics students to tell us how, why these sound waves? then I also learn a lot of things from that. So, I just all of you to kindly keep in mind that subject matter of your subject, what you are studying. Suppose you are coming up with a uh, student of political science on the topic called sovereignty, okay? Sovereignty is related to your subject as well as to the people of the Nagas, which is very popular with the Nagas. But whether that sovereignty is all about, okay? What is that sovereignty is all about? And whether the concept of shared sovereignty and suprastate that is applicable in the context of Nagaland or not? Okay. It is feasible or not? And also, the concept of suprastate, whether that is uh, workable in the context of Indian state or not, and whether that is possible in the context of Nagaland as well or not? And for, to know that, first you should do, study what is sovereignty. You should study the Austin theory of sovereignty. Okay? Austin concept of sovereignty. Then come to the pluralistic theory of sovereignty. Then comes to the context of Nagaland. And see that whether that is applicable in the context of Nagaland or not. Okay, so that only you will know the subject matter. Okay, so here, whether you study international politics, political thought of Plato, Aristotle, Machiavelli, all these kind of things. First, you should study the subject matter very carefully, very thoroughly. 
Don't give them on your teacher. You see, when I was in Miami, I spent lots of my time and energy on political talk. And I get the least mark in these people. But I learned the maximum out of this people. I learned the maximum out of this people because I gave all my time and energy to understand the concept of political talk, particularly on Plato, Aristotle, Machiavelli, Bentham, Means. All this I have studied. And that has enabled me to be here today. It's only because of my sheer hard work, nothing else. So if you really work hard, you will be able to come. But if you're only depending on your teachers, then that will never work. This is one point I would like to see that. Another one is that when you are going to appear for the HR, before you go for a jump, when time is available, study the whole thing. You should adopt both extensive and intensive studies, okay? Extensive study means you should try to cover as much as possible. Don't go for selective studies, okay? Then intensive study means when you have the agile, and when there is no time for you to cover up the whole of your papers, then only you go with the poems, what you have studied. And whenever you study, note down all the poems that you have studied with your pen, with your diary, and everything. OK? Because even as a professor, I will not be able to remember everything in my mind. OK? I cannot remember everything in my mind. So what is required? I will not down the point. That will, and once the point is not done, it is registered in my mind. So that when I come back, the, it will give like a computer memory. And memory will just give you a recollection of the points that you have studied in the past. OK? So that will enable you to do well in nature. See that all the five questions should be attended equally. All five questions that is being set, attend all the five questions equally. If you are writing only two questions very nicely and two questions you left, and if that three questions is also out of the context, not able to write correctly to the questions. Teachers may give you marks, but may not give you that of what you want to give, or what you expect. Then again, you are going to be failed miserably. So try to study, try to understand the question. And most important is that Understanding of the subject matter is very, very important. Understand, if you don't understand the subject matter, what you are studying. Okay, suppose a uh, teacher is given a te taught a topic on the Plato's theory of uh, idle state. What is that idle state? You will have to understand it first, in the first place. Then go with the rest. Now, we want you, once you understand that, you will be able to follow it. So that is the one aspect that I cannot give you everything in one lecture. But my uh, advice to all of you is that understanding the subject matter, that will give you to remember everything, even in the long run. But if you are memorizing, if you are marking up, then once a term is over, you will forget everything. You will not remember anything. And then you will start everything afresh. OK? When you start everything afresh, you will be lacking behind. And that is why the most important thing is our students should know the subject matter very thoroughly. 
And that is only when you are attentive in the class, regular in the class, discipline yourself, and hard work, half-hearted study will never make you to be a successful student. So you will have to give your wholehearted with all your mind and soul. Mind and soul means you have to sacrifice so many other aspects, but focus on your studies. I've been telling you, I went to your teachers also. Now, teachers, and I, even myself, I cannot give you, I cannot give you everything what I know within one hour. Okay? It's not possible. So you will have the teachers will give you only the important points, the most important points. But you will have to focus. So that I want all our students to kindly keep in mind that and study hard, answer according to the questions, study according to the syllabus, and not to debate from the main points. What is not relevant, what is not asked for, you should never write those irrelevant points. Once you start writing a relevant point, you will not get marks. Another one point I want to tell you that in political science or in literature, nobody should get you. Okay? Nobody should get you. But there are students getting you as well. There are only one subject where anybody can get you. There is only one subject. Okay? where a student may get you. Which subject? Anybody can tell me? Which subject? Anybody can be, get your roles. Any idea? Maths. Maths. Even in science, maths is the only subject where anybody can get you. Okay? But otherwise, nobody should get you. Any, any study that is best on laboratory, that is best on scientific and laboratory, may get your role as well, because if the lab result is given a wrong result, then that may go wrong. OK? But other than that, Nobody should get you. I have been telling my students, and I have already had an experience. One of my senior in Ambien, he get you. So the professor comes to our class. He told us, and he even mentioned, even mentioned the name of that particular student. I will not tell them. He belongs to Naragas. <laughs> he's a Naga. He's a person. Okay. But he belongs to the Naga. Okay. And he told us that your senior student, this man has got Jero in my people. The professor said that. And he said that in political science, nobody should get you. But you do like getting you. Okay. So what I'm trying to tell all of you is that if you answer wrongly, if you answer wrongly, and if you don't answer according to the question, definitely no teacher is going to give you marks. Okay. And also, if you do not deserve a particular marks and expect the good marks, then that is also your you are cheating yourself. You are cheating yourself. You are bluffing yourself. Nobody is bluffing you. Nobody is cheating you. But you yourself is responsible for that. So I want all of you to kindly keep in mind that in the master's level, these are the small things not to be taught to you. But when I have seen that the students are not following that, 
then I'm coming with that kind of a thing. Not every one of you are doing that, but there are few students, they are doing that. And so you will have to see that question, when you are attending the question, question number one, question number one, A, B, you will have to go according to that. Question number two, suppose you are attending the question number one, and then you go with the question number three, without attending the question number two. Then you go with, you write question number three, then you write. Then when you are going to write, attempt the question, go question number two in the last, then the question number two, then answer according. But what happened? Some students, they are not reading the, uh, not reading the question number also, just simply write, okay? That, so now you are, you are going to adjust. Another important aspect that I have uh, want to tell all of you is that, that is my experience I'm telling all of you. Please keep in mind that. Some students, they go for evolution. My own student, that is my own student in the university. They go for re-evolution. You know what happened? One student got 38 in my people, okay? When they go for re-evaluation, another professor was there to go for evaluation. Whether I'm the one who has given the marks to the student judiciously or not. Whether I've done according to it or not. What happened? The professor gave the students only 28, 10 marks down, okay? Now, why that happens is that with so many students, I also have been doing, but I have tried to be liberal so that I do not want to deprive a particular student. Although his performance was not very good, but I tried to see that uh, he gets at least pass mark. But when a particular teacher comes, since only one teacher on Sasuke birthday, he has a full concentration. And so you see that it was not according to the questions. And many points are not relevant. And then sentence, English grammar, composition, even the spelling, everything has, he will have to check. So then he gets less mark. Okay. So now that is the habit. And that's why now the authority has to stop that re-evolution. Re-evolution is not, is not uh, good uh, for the students if they are getting less. Because once you go for re-evolution, you will have to go with, for, go with your first marks. You have not to sacrifice whether you get better marks or less marks, you will have to go with the second marks. Okay? So now, what is happening, you are going to be a loser, okay? So those are some of the important aspects I want just to keep you in mind our, for our students. So first, what you have to study, you have to work hard. Don't expect too much mark in your teachers, internal marks, because your internal marks and external mark has to be commensurate. Commensurate means yeah, what you have get, it should be balanced, okay? Otherwise, when you get very high marks in internal and less mark in external means, means that is not something is wrong, okay? So I want all of you to kind of keep in mind that those aspects and don't rely too much on your teacher. Once you are dependent on your teacher too much, then you are going to be, uh, you know, fully dependent. You will not walk independently. You will be like a parasite. Uh, it is just like a spoon feed. Okay, in the master's level, please don't do that. So this is one aspect. Come into this uh, MEA level. I just want to give only one point. Uh, once you are the master's, expectation from the people, from your parents, from your society, will be very, very high. 
are you going to be able to live to the, that expectation or not? That's a very, very important question to all of you. And to live up to that expectation, what do you have to do? You have to work hard. You have to learn. You have to appear. Okay. You have to master yourself to the area, to the subjects, where you, uh, what you have been studying that. Okay. Then only you will live up to the expectation of your people. Now, the, you, after you come up, come out from this, uh, the two colleges, people will ask from which college, whether you are from Unity or Teso College, okay? If you have been doing well, then the name of the colleges will come up. Reputation of the colleges will come up in a big way, okay? But if you have performed miserable, then the name of your college will come down very bad. Either way, you are going to face it, okay? You are going to face. Now, you are a student, so you don't know what is life, what is the outside world. You are going to get an experience only after you come out from your college. The reality, the hard reality, you are going to experience only after you pass, after you pass out of your Emmy in these two colleges. And so to make an unmark of these colleges, that depends on you. You are going to be the ambassador of these two colleges, okay? You are going to be the ambassador. So, will you able to be an ambassador of these two colleges or not? That you will be the showpiece of these two colleges. You will be the brand of these two colleges. And so, the teens, your performance is solely depends on you. And therefore, I want all of you to work out. There is nothing that there is nothing that there is impossible. Of course, they say that impossible will find only in the dictionary of lazy people. It will find in the dictionary of coward people. Now, I don't want that when I say that impossible, you will have to know your limitations. Your limitation is that in this area, I can, if I work hard, I can do it. But in this area, you cannot do it. You will have to see that which way you have your have the potentials. That also you should explore yourself. In ME level, you should explore yourself, your potentialities. And in which way you should go for that. That also you should keep in mind that. Uh, but if you don't know how you are going to proceed, then it is going to be just like a ship in the ocean without rudder. It will be blown away by the air. You will have no destinations. And therefore, I want all of you to kindly keep in mind, have determination. Also see that in which area you are capable of doing that. Here, any students that coming up to the ML level, ML level, there is no one which is below average. Okay. We used to say that any student that has come up in MLA, all of them are average students. Above average students. Above average students will never come up to a higher level. Okay. Fine. They, they know too much. They understand too much, they will not study hard. Okay.
So, but average means they are capable of exploring more and more. Their potential can build up more and more. And that is what we say that all those have come to any level and above, they are all average students. They can, they can go, they can build up, they, and they will able to develop. So that is what we, we always say that. So I know all of you have the potential. All of you are capable of doing that. All of you have the will and determination, commitment, devotion. And only way over and above that, discipline, discipline will make you and unmake yourself. So if you are disciplined, you will ever be successful. Um, so I want all of you to maintain punctuality, discipline, discipline, humble, respectful to your teachers, to the college authority, and fear God. Fear God. God is the ultimate for which you will have the success in your life. So with this reward, I might have been, uh, you know, mix up so many things, but I just want all of you to kindly keep in mind that there is no substitute to hard work and God will help to those who help themselves. Thank you so much.